Hi YouTube. Here I am again going off on another rant. I said I was just going to make my three little polemic uh, diatribes and then I was going to leave the subject alone. The subject being Proposition 8. Well, I was going through some of the other uh, Pro 8 ads there are out there. The uh, ones that want people to vote yes. Uh, the interesting thing I find about most of these Prop 8 uh, new, newer Prop 8, Pro Prop 8 uh, pieces are that they have tried to get away from the idea of gay rights being civil rights. They're now concerned about the children. These things are all about the children. Well, the uh, people who were in support of Proposition 8 found that when they were talking about stripping away gay rights to marriage that that wasn't going over too well so they realized they had to change their tactics so then they start talking about their rights to teach uh, that gays are immoral and what would their preachers be able to say and what would their churches be able to do well they found that those arguments were being shot down pretty well too so now they've tried their third tactic which is to put out that somehow gay marriage will pervert children or make children's lives so unbearable that the poor things will need psychiatric help for uh, 40 years after they reach adulthood. The first ad deals with a teacher running into his principal saying, I can't teach my second graders about gay marriage. They don't even understand divorce. That's too confusing for them. How will they be able to understand this? And the principal saying, I agree, but we're being forced to do this. We have to do it. It's the law. Okay, then we come to the second commercial, which features a sweet little blonde girl. I notice how all these kids seem to be blonde girls. Um, talking to her two daddies about how her friend, uh, don't remember the friend's name, but the friend's saying, well, why, you know, marriage is for a man and a woman, and uh, it's for making babies, isn't it? And if it's not, why, uh, what is marriage for? and the two dads just sit there like lumps. I can tell you, if that was my kid, I wouldn't be sitting there like a lump. I'd be having a talk with the parents of the uh, girl who's teaching my child this. Well, let's go to the first commercial. Uh, teachers having to teach about gay marriage. Wow, yeah, the whole point of this is to teach your second graders about gay marriage and how to have sexual relations with people of the same sex. Where did you come up with this? There are school boards. There are PTAs. Do you think if this comes up that there won't be hues and cries saying, no, this is wrong. You can't teach kids at this age. Oh, but, but you'll take us to court and force us to. We have other things to do with our times. And believe it or not, most gay parents don't want their kids taught inappropriate material either. Okay? They just don't want you using your schools to teach their kids and your kids even that somehow being gay makes you lesser, that we are not equal to you, okay? We don't like that. You want to teach your kids that? Fine. Homeschool them or put them in a private school. Don't use our tax money to teach them that we are less than you are, okay? As to teacher not being able to teach this, well, then he's an idiot and not a very good teacher, you know. Wow. <laughs> Cat wants attention, like a kid. Only this one won't ever grow up. He's a sweetheart, aren't you? Yes, you're a good guy. Anyway, this whole thing with the children is just something to try to distract from the idea of taking away the rights of gays, which is what Proposition 8 does. Now, the second commercial dealing with the little girl that somehow she is so going to be so traumatized by the... Her dad's inability to answer what marriage is for. Well, marriage is a union of two people who are love, loving and are committed to each other and want to make that bond legal and in good standing with, uh, with authorities. Now, how is that traumatic? You just tell, if your kid comes back and say, well, Heather has two mommies, you just tell your kid, well, yeah, there are families that are different from us. If you want to teach them that that's wrong, well, go ahead, but expect to hear my kid telling your little girl, well, I won't have a kid personally. This one, his talk won't really translate that well. Anyway, expect the gay kid, the not gay kid, but the ch child of the gay couple to tell your child that their parents are perfectly moral 
and are good people. Okay? It's called diversity. Learn it. Okay? It's part of the world as it is. Now, for those, the other thing, uh, let's see how domestic partnerships provide all the state uh, sanctions that a marriage does for gay couples. Wow. Well, let's go over the history of domestic partnerships. Those were first entered uh, into, I believe, in the early 90s. And they were first localized to West Hollywood and San Francisco. Eventually, the state adopted them. These were very limited, under 50 rights. I think it was even at the beginning under 10 specific rights, such as rights of inheritance, uh, uh, rights uh, to be able to visit your partner in the hospital, that sort of thing. Well, when Proposition 22 was put out by uh, its proponents, the first, the man who wrote it, Pete Knight, he said, we're not trying to take away any rights from gays. We just want to protect marriage. Nothing against gays. I'm not a homophobe. Every time I hear that, it just, <laughs> I just want to say, yes, yes, you are. But uh, it's uh, just curious to me. You know, he said, we're not trying to take away the rights. Well, then the legislature said, let's expand these rights. Let's give them 50 rights. Oh, my God. Within three months, Pete Knight not only wanted to take away those 50 rights the legislature had expended, extended, but wanted to roll back the rights, including hospital visitation for gay couples. In other words, he lied. He had a secret agenda. He wanted to make homosexual relations illegal, looked down upon second class. That's what Proposition 22 was all about. So don't tell me about the will of the people. Okay? That's my rant. I'm really fed up with these smokescreen ads. Okay? Don't use your religion. Don't hide behind little girls being confused. Don't hide behind teachers having hysteria to try to force your religion onto the people of California. And you know who I'm talking about, Salt Lake City. Thank you. Take care.